added a tourniquet to my go bag, my camera bag. All packed up and ready for Waikiki this afternoon. We have surfing lessons this afternoon. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, uh, after watching that shark video this morning, it's kind of totally freaked me out. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Something you don't see every day over the weekend. It happened a large shark dropping in on some surfers at Howell Bush and Eva Beach. Check it out, pretty cool video. Maybe if you're not on the board, but Lewis Watson, who took the video, says he was shooting drone video of his daughter and some friends out in the water when he noticed another friend pointing out to sea. Well, using his drone, well, that's that what he captured. A pretty large he shark he right out there the hanging shark. out in the break with the surfers. Watson says he hovered his drone over the shark until it went back out into the deeper waters. He says it wasn't aggressive, but it is a reminder that we're all just guests in their home. We're never quite alone, are we, in the water? Good Friday afternoon. Aloha. Welcome back, Aloha. you guys. Aloha. Yep. We are on our way to pick up Alex. She gets off early today because it's parent-teacher conference week, which means we also have time to go and get a surfing lesson for Alex. We've had this book booked now for the last two weeks. So she has a scheduled surfing lesson same company as last time, so it's the Ohana Surf Project. We really enjoyed them with both John and Alex last time. This time it's just going to be Alex because John is working. We're crossing your fingers that he gets off early enough, but it's a slim chance. I go to your lesson. You excited? Yep. <laughs> bounce, bounce, bounce. So I've put two tourniquets in this guy right here. I've got our... Um, vinegar, just in case we have jelly, any jellyfish stings from today. But really, like, you know, you got to, watching that video of that drone footage this morning definitely has freaked me out a little bit. I mean, how can you not be freaked out a little, like, this shark and everything? But, you know, I'm trying to get my mind wrapped around it. It's really not any different per se, than mountain lions or bears or wolves in the Western United States, coyotes. You know, last year when the girls and I were on our van trip in Washington, we had a mountain lion right outside our tent. Um, we've had coyotes right outside our tents. And, you know, I guess it's a little bit different with the shark because there's no real preventative. You know, I used to sleep with bear spray because that's, that was my weapon against cougars and everything else. Ford safety, then a noise from behind. And I, I kind of think of the sharks as the same as that, right? Like this is still like a wilderness wild, but safety is not first. If safety was first, I wouldn't let my kids get out of bed. You know what that guy knows? Well, actually he knows a great deal, but what he really knows is the importance of safety. You look around a place like this, you see it everywhere. Look at the sign up there. As if there could be any doubt, safety first. Always, 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 over and over and over. But you wanna hear the dirty truth? Safety's not really ever first. Safety generally, as best I can figure, is, is third. And so the only thing that I can do is try to prepare as best as possible, which is why I've got the tourniquets. I honestly need to probably get some smaller ones because I think those are too big for Alex. We've got her life jacket because John's not gonna be going out with her. I'm not gonna be able to go out with her. So I'm gonna probably force her to wear her life jacket. She's not gonna be happy about it, but she's seven years old. It's not gonna get in the way of her being able to surf. Oahu really isn't a very dangerous place when it comes to sharks. So yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm not gonna tell her, show her the video until we get home tonight. We're gonna go rock her a surf lesson in Waikiki at Queens Beach and pray and like that's all you can do when you want to have an adventure i guess all right we 
we have made it to Queens Beach, Waikiki. It's a beautiful area. I, we enjoy coming here. Plus, they have the Barefoot Cafe, which has pretty, pretty decently priced food. Usually live music. Last time we were here, the uh, musician he was playing, the, the singer was amazing. She was great. And then they had someone who just started dancing, and that was just amazing. My toe too. The funniest thing ever. Oh, they're picking up my toes. Ah! I want to feed the little birdie. Ah! They're all... Um, all right, you can feed the little birdie. Oh, did you get that little sweet bird? He got it. He got it. You don't see every day over the weekend it happened a large shark dropping in on some surfers at Howl Bush in Eva Beach. Check it out, pretty cool video. Maybe if you're not on the board, but Lewis Watson, who took the video, says he was shooting drone video of his daughter and some friends out of the water when he noticed another friend pointing out to sea. Well, using his drone, well, that's what he captured a pretty large shark right out there. Oh, that is huge. That is very huge. Oh, yeah. 
Oh my god. That is really huge. What do you think, dude? Do you see that guy ride right over him or surf right over the shark? Yeah. Yeah. You want to go surfing again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, the girls are in bed. It was another successful Friday. Alex got to go surfing. Overall, really amazing day, you guys. It started off with me watching that video from the local news channel, and it's just amazing drone footage. I, I'll i link the, the video down below. It was amazing. And it totally is incredibly terrifying. I've always been afraid of sharks, and my number one fear is drowning. Um, but I think it's just, you know, Alex loves to go in the ocean, and so, you know, I can't stop her. The best thing you can do is just kind of be brave, prepare, and pray that everything goes smooth. I mean, that's almost all adventures. Anytime you step out your door, that's pretty practically all you're doing, right? And I was looking up some of the statistics. Like, the fact of the matter is, like, as scary as that footage is, you know, they say like 33 people on average get bitten by a shark in Hawaii per year, which is, um, or I was, sorry, like United States wide. So I think it was like only five or six a year in Hawaii. And then the majority of the actual incidents are in Florida, um, not really Hawaii. And then in Hawaii, there's only been six reported deaths from shark attacks since reporting has started. And all of those are on Maui, right? The, the tiger shark being the aggressor from, I think the mating season and the whale season. And outside of that, you know, you, you have twice as many people drown in Hawaii. You know, like 66 people on average drown every year in Hawaii. Like that, you know, and you could look up any statistic and there's so many other things that could happen to you in life. So I'm really happy that we still went out there and we still rocked it. And she had a great time. And, you know, I guess it's just one of those risks you kind of accept that I don't really want to think about. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and mahalo.